sir, um, I think you're at the wrong house. You're not coming down here today. He said, no, we're going to knock this house down tomorrow. What's the financial incentive on tearing it down? He said, if I don't knock this house down when they come into it, I'm going to lose my contract for the city. I felt a bad vibe that something was wrong. And I felt it right through the spirit of my soul. That's when all hell broke loose. And they was threatening me to get off my own property. Every last officer had guns on them. Must have been about eight cars out there. Wow, is this standard procedure? They had all these cars out here? It was like a war zone out there just to knock down my house. When you knock something down like that and destroy families, he just destroyed my whole generation. Now I have nothing. Eric Arnold owned a home in Macon Bibb County, Georgia, a house he had bought and spent months fixing up. But then the county bulldozed his home without telling Eric beforehand or explaining why. When I pulled up and saw the house demolished, I was devastated. My heart started racing. I was tearing up. Uh, I started sweating. I was. I was. I had to really calm my body down because I was about to faint. I couldn't believe they did that. Eric's story, unfortunately, isn't unique. Macon Bibb County has declared they have a blight problem. But rather than work with property owners to solve that problem, the county is simply demolishing buildings. Over the last four years alone, more than 740 homes have been destroyed, with the county celebrating the destruction like a victory. I decided to come to Georgia because I'm at the retirement age. Eric is a skilled carpenter and specializes in buying and fixing up low-value homes. After a lifetime spent in New Jersey, Eric decided to move to Georgia to build a better life and move back to where his mother grew up. For my future, it's best for me to move to Georgia and, and build a life down there because New Jersey was really getting out of hand with everything. Eric decided to move from New Jersey to Georgia and put his skills to good use buying fixer-upper homes and renovating them himself to sell or give to his family members. One such property was in Macon Bibb County. Me and my family bought the house out there so they can eventually move down here, but the grandkids and stuff. So, you know, it was cheap properties in the area that we decided to just, just try to get, and I coached them on, on building a life in Georgia. Eric spent months steadily improving the Macon house and property. Oh, when I bought the property, it was tons of garbage all around on the property. Um, the grass was high, weeds growing everywhere. You know, once a week, we'd go clean up the property and get rid of the garbage, clean the inside out, the outside out. But unknown to Eric, the county had marked his house for demolition. Eric only learned about that fact when a demolition crew put a dumpster on his property. And my neighbors called me, they said, Eric, hey, you coming down to work at the house today? I said, no, Mars, we, we not coming down here today. So what? He said, well, there's a big dumpster in front of the house. Eric had received no notice from the county and had no idea who to contact. So he tried the owner of the demolition company. The owner of the demolition co company, he said, sir, I don't know what's going on with this property, but I was told to knock this house down. I, I said, look, sir, please don't touch my house. I'm going to go get to the bottom of this and go see whatever. Eric went to talk to county officials. He didn't know why the county wanted to knock down his house. Eric was met with hostility, but eventually he understood that the county wouldn't demolish his house and that he could continue to fix it up. But he was wrong. Days after a county official said that Eric's house was safe, Eric received another call from a neighbor, this time to tell him there was more than just a dumpster and the city was destroying his house. Yeah, I looked into all the laws and all my rights about the property and everything, and the city of Macon, Bibb County, never told me why they knocked the house down. There was no reason, because I did everything I can do to prevent it, and they never told me why they knocked the house down. What Macon, Bibb County did was not only wrong, but it was also unconstitutional. The government can't just destroy your property without notice. 
and it must allow people to defend the right to their property, even if notified. That's why Eric has partnered with the Institute for Justice to sue to vindicate his constitutional rights and to stop Macon Bibb County from demolishing more houses without notice.